Good evening. I know it's been a while since uh, we've had a Book of Eli. Uh, I apologize for that, but there's been a lot been going on. Uh, I just want to thank uh, my fans out there um, for waiting around and supporting us and continuing to watch the videos we have put out. Um, clearly, without the five of you, none of this would exist. Um, this is a, a very special episode coming up, and uh, I'm excited to show it to you. It's called uh, Escape, uh, Escaping El Primo. Hey, Spider-Man. Are you off to save the world? Uh-huh. Uh-oh. I'm okay. Mm, you're good okay. I'm good to do lights. Hey, we're live at El, El Primo's secret lair. I don't know where we're at. They had me blindfolded. And uh, now we're just in the middle of nowhere. I'm going to do a quick uh, scan around so you can see how desolate it is out here. Hopefully I'll uh, make it out of here without any problems. Um, if they knew I was videoing, they'd probably keep me out here for the rest of my life. So um, I better get going now as, uh, before somebody sees me. It was at this point uh, that we'd been discovered that uh, we had violated the rules of the undisclosed location uh, being at uh, El Primo's hideaway. Uh, they found our camera, or at least they thought they found all our cameras. So I was uh, taken to a secure location and locked up. I'm currently stuck in El Primo prison right now. I snuck onto the property because I remembered how to get there by the sounds I heard while I was blindfolded. I was observing him for the last two days when they finally got onto me. I've been put in this little four by six cell. I don't know how long I'll be here. Luckily, I was able to sneak this camera in. I'm not going to tell you how I snuck it in, but I'm really glad it's not there anymore. I'll keep you updated. It was at this point that I realized uh, the, how, how dire my situation had become and how angry El Primo was. I can't believe you said no. I know. <laughs> I'm the only one. So messed up. It was at this point, at the end of day two, that uh, I just finally realized uh, who I was really dealing with. Uh, Big Eli. That's right. Big Eli, otherwise known as El Primo. I've seen him in many different shapes, ways, and forms. I've seen him in good moods. I've seen him in mad moods. I've seen him in goofy moods, kind of like this. When he's in those goofball moods, it's hard to determine who's in charge. I think it's hard to see from the outside, but uh, from Eli's point of view, I don't think it's that hard to see who's in charge, Eli. Well, there's no doubt about who Eli thinks is in charge. El Primo all the way. Anyhow, moving on to day three, I just had to get out of here. I was, uh, I've been trapped in this place, hadn't eaten, hadn't had much to drink, and uh, I just needed to get out of there. Uh, it was worth risking my life than uh, living just another hour in that wooden box. All right, it's the morning of day three. I've been stuck in this box for the last two and a half days. I'm gonna attempt to use my seer training in order to escape El Primo's compound and make my way back to civilization where I can tell the story. If I can't, hopefully somebody will find my camera and print this someday. Now I'm gonna try to jimmy the lock and get out of here. We'll see what happens. What's the All right, now that I've done the escape part, 
it's time to evade capture. Do not attempt this at home. Only experts can do this. So I got an opportunity to use my SEER training. Uh, one of the basic uh, components of that is camouflage. And as you'll see in this next clip, uh, I use uh, my expertise in camouflage and my ability to stay real still. And so nobody can see me in the woods. Here's another good example of uh, transitioning camouflage from outdoor uh, rustic wilderness to uh, urban camouflage. There you are in your camo t-shirt and boom! Now you're ready for a night on the town. Another component is uh, of surviving out in the uh, wild and using your seer training is uh, to make sure that you're very aware of your surroundings prior to be being out of your cover. Here's a great example. What? I was able to obtain some footage uh, from one of my moles inside his camp about the reaction that El Primo had when he found out that I had escaped. <laughs> My life is over. <laughs> you can just feel and you can hear the anger that's just deep down inside him, especially when somebody crosses him and gets away with it. Another surefire way to uh, get caught when you're out. Uh, try to escape and evade is uh, road crossings and movement outside of your coverage. Here's a good example of how I got away from El Primo. So clearly I was able to get, uh, get away, get back to uh, civilization with my camera intact and uh, able to pull this film um, it was a harrowing experience, but I'm certainly not discouraged from finding out more about who El Primo is. So there will be more to come. See you next week. From all of us at the Book of Eli and Noah Flicks, I'd like to wish everybody a happy Veterans Day. <laughs>